Still Alive, A Holocaust Girlhood Remembered, is a memoir by Ruth Kluger that details her experiences as a Jewish girl living in Nazi-occupied Europe during World War II. The book offers a unique perspective on the Holocaust as it is written by a survivor who was a child at the time and who later became an acclaimed scholar of German literature. The memoir is divided into two parts. The first part focuses on Kluger's childhood in Vienna, Austria, where she lived with her mother and grandmother. Kluger writes about her family's struggle to survive as Jews in a city that was becoming increasingly hostile towards them. She describes how they were forced to wear the yellow star of David and how they were subjected to various forms of discrimination and persecution. Kluger also writes about the trauma of being separated from her father, who was sent to a concentration camp, and the fear and uncertainty that she and her family experienced during this time. The second part of the book details Kluger's experiences in the concentration camps. She writes about her time in several camps, including their Scienstadt, Auschwitz, and Christianstadt. Kluger's descriptions of life in the camps are harrowing, but also insightful. She writes about the brutal living conditions, the constant threat of violence and death, and the ways in which prisoners tried to survive and maintain their dignity in the face of extreme adversity. One of the most striking aspects of Kluger's memoir is her honesty and frankness. She does not shy away from describing the horrors of the Holocaust in vivid detail, but she also writes about the nuances and complexities of her experiences. For example, she writes about the ways in which she and other prisoners were able to find small moments of joy and humanity amidst the brutality of the camps. She also writes about the complicated relationships she had with other prisoners, including fellow Jews and non-Jewish prisoners. Another notable aspect of the book is Kluger's exploration of memory and trauma. She writes about the ways in which her experiences during the Holocaust shaped her identity and her outlook on life. She also reflects on the challenges of remembering and processing such traumatic events, and the ways in which memory can be both a source of strength and a burden. Overall, Still Alive, A Holocaust Girlhood Remembered, is a powerful and important memoir that offers a unique perspective on the Holocaust. Kluger's writing is both engaging and insightful, and her personal story is a testament to the resilience and strength of the human spirit. The book is a must-read for anyone interested in learning more about the Holocaust and its impact on individual lives.